by the Hello, Megasurgeon. Hello, Boston. It's me, Agnes, your new pal with a friendly ear and a golden voice. Come on down to the grand opening of Symphony Station, and let's get acquainted. Christmas turkey. Attention passengers, the next red line train to West Roxbury will be arriving in two minutes. Are you doing your part to support the war effort? Ask Agnes today. Nicely, slowly. Because I'm aiming a gun at your face. Why do you think? Well, hello 
there, darling, and welcome to Symphony Station. Agnes, you're awake. Well, of course I am. Agnes is a 24-7 type of gal, after all. Oh, wherever are my manners? Can I offer either you an ice-cold soda while you wait for the train? Or perhaps a Boston Bugle hot off the presses? Or if you're feeling lost in our beautiful new subway station, just ask Agnes and I'll get you pointed in the right direction. Okay, Agnes. Why don't I give our visitor a quick tour of the station? Myself. Well, that would be just fine, young lady. Come on. We'll uh, start with the bathroom. No, look. Two questions. First, who sent you here? Damn it. I thought I shut that thing down. You shouldn't be wasting so much power on it. Second question. Did you do anything to Agnes before I found you? Did you touch anything? Mess with anything? <sighs> All right, fine. I don't have time to care about that right now. The thing is, I need help. There's something wrong with Agnes. I've been trying to fix her for months, but I keep running into problems. I'll travel with you. Cover your back when we get into trouble. In return, you'll help me get what I need to make Agnes better. when she's... We talk to each other. She listens to me, tells me stories. But then... Something happens to her. She forgets where she is. And even who she is. She forgets me. Like we never even met. After a while of being like that, She'll start to remember her original programming. Some kind of pre-war automated assistant or something like that. I'm not really sure. When she fully comes back, she says she was in her dark place. And uh, the last few weeks, it's been taking longer and longer for her to come back. That's why I wanted to know if you'd touched or changed anything when you got here. Before now, she'd been gone for almost a week solid. If the usual baton holds, she'll only want to tell you about the weather and things like that. For a while, anyway. Well, the less you know about me, the better. I can say that I generally prefer the subtle, quiet approach to solving problems. But if you're a wreck and rage type, I can help you widen your blast radius too. All you really need to know is that I'm useful when and where it counts. Wouldn't have lived this long 
far, travel this far if I wasn't. Funny. <sighs> Look, I survived long enough to find this place, didn't I? I'll handle myself out there. Trust me on that. All right. I have almost everything I need. Dad should get her back up and running. On one of her lucid days, she gave me a list of parts that we'll need. I've gotten all of them, except for two. There's a scrapyard west of here. That's the next place I was headed, so I figure we could start there. And... hey... thanks. Hey. Yeah? What's up? If this is your first time traveling to Boston, easy enough. juggling your busy schedule. <laughs> yeah. Or whether you just tell people that so they think you're more interesting than you really are. Um, uh, 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 um, <laughs> you know, yeah. Either way, Agnes now comes with a personal calendar to help you better manage your busy and or pathetic life.
Excuse me. Yes.
Mind your feet. That, my friends, is how it's done. Maxon might appear compassionate, but I can assure you, the Institute will face his wrath.
you need a medic? <coughs> Got roughed up. Okay. Walk me through your symptoms. Yeah. See what's wrong with me, Doctor. I can help with that. Let's see here. Hi there. Huh? If I see hey. any more rat huh? I'm going to stomp them flat. <laughs> I bet you will. But you tell me first before you go. Thank 
This looks like the place. Hopefully this won't take long. with empty shelves and books on the floor. Why, that's a pigsty, and nothing more. I guess we'd better talk to him. See if he's going to get in our way. Greetings, travelers, and welcome to the Boston Public Library. Your weapons, ah, so many weapons. Leave them at the door, if you please. Because here, we aim to learn, and learn to aim, or not. Books on floor, not all right. Books on shelves, quite all right. A place for everything, and everything in space. Indeed, everyone could do with another book in their life, or six, or seven, or eight thousand more books. Oh yeah, this guy's not insane at all. Nope. Vacuum two, vacuum three, vacuum four. Or do you have, you know, any idea what that even is? You're in a radio station, after all. Oh no, 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 no. See, I don't believe in that sort of nonsense. Radio's gonna put us librarians right out of business, you know? I tossed every bit of that hogwash into a locker. Out of sight, out of mind, out of time. Locked it up tight, too, of course, so the radio waves won't infect my brains, or my books, or my books on brains. We don't have time for games. Just give us the key to the locker. A key you need's the key indeed. I don't think we're going to get anywhere with him. I'll give that a try. Maybe he just needs help with something. So, about that key... Do you think you could help us out here? No, oh, but I simply don't have time, you see. So many books. So little interest in your problem. Sure is a nice library you've got here. Do you, uh, need some help? Getting it up and running? A fellow bookworm, I see. Yes, yes, I could do with a fair bit of assistance. I must make sense of this mess before the grand opening. The people will want books, not messes. And those I need are the most important books of all. The classics, every one, scattered on the floor in twos, threes, and fours. Just Carefully place them on the shelves, and whatever you need will be yours. Well, I guess we're doing this.
Saving that for later, are we? right where they belong? Better than Dewey himself. One shelf down, two to go. Two shelves down, three to go. Four shelves is madness, and this madness has got to go. Here you are, and off you go. Feeling a bit tired now. Time to rest. after all. Too bad. No! Get away from me! You were not given instruction to speak. Were you? Questions will go unanswered, Waster, because she is a machine, and machines cannot respond to questions which they have not been instructed to answer. <laughs> <laughs> 